Hi, we're back. This is Avenue B, and uh, we have some questions that came in from people uh, visiting our website. So we thought we would try and answer those for you today. <laughs> so here we are. This could be dangerous. This could be. Have you looked at them? Um, I have not looked at all of them. No, I have not. So. Okay. Okay, question number one. Um, Jim H. says, <clears throat> What do you remember most about the first time you all three sang together on stage? Okay, I'll, I'll say what I remember most. Because the first time we all three sang together on stage, <clears throat> I was uh, a little tense because I was also producing the show. So I was freaking <laughs> out a little bit. Just a lot of responsibility. Um, but then when we actually really were on stage, it felt great. It was... You're talking Sun Valley. Yeah. Talking Sun yeah. Valley. Yeah. 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 That was I magical. Mean, it was. It was amazing. Coming up to it was nerve-wracking, but, but actually doing it was amazing. It's it true. The energy on stage together was awesome. Yeah. yeah. And we did, I think that's the first time, too, when we realized, hey, this... Because we... When people started asking us afterwards when we were going to be seeing, you know, when we were going to play again next, it took a few of those questions for us to realize that people were talking about the three of us as a group. And so then we were like, oh, okay, that, yeah. let's do that. And so we did. And here we do you, are. Do you remember that <laughs> skit that we did, uh, White Christmas Snow? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like I couldn't get through a single rehearsal without falling on the floor laughing. <laughs> I thought there, there's just no way it's so going to happen. my arrangement? No, no, it was a great arrangement, but it was just like I, I kept messing up at every turn, and then finally in the performance, I'm like, oh, this actually happened. Yeah. And it was yeah, just, it was great. actually acting and singing, and it was fun. fun. That's first time for me at all. And what a great setting to Sun Valley. I know, so fun. Okay, question two. Ready for question two? Yes. Let's ponder it. Celia S. Oh, okay. She asked. What has been the most challenging aspect of becoming a touring and recording group? Oh, Good question. Oh, that's yeah. a lot of questions. <laughs> oh, so many. It's a little bit about putting the cart before the <laughs> horse, too. But... Yeah. Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think just learning, you know, because when you've worked with opera companies and when you've worked with symphonies and you've worked with somebody, you know, there's yeah. always somebody in charge. I think part of it for me, the challenge has been the technical side of things. And making sure that we had the right things in place, um, learning how to advance shows, working with the, our manager to to get all the details ironed out so that the show, so that we didn't spend rehearsal time working on on that. Yeah, yeah. Which but is that's the problem because yeah. all of us individually have worked in larger auspices where we've had people take care of things for us and we've yeah. only had to focus on the music. Right. right Now it's like we have to have a mind for all of this because we're a rather yeah. small entity. Yeah. It makes me feel like challenge. I have a very small brain. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. I'll be honest, I, I thought it would be easier than it would because I because I have the help with the technical side. Not, I mean, I'm not a techie. <laughs> anyway, yeah. they're all in the world by um, themselves. Yeah. But uh, one of it is is uh, in our touring. I didn't realize how hard it would be to get the sound right. Right. But because of what we do, it's we yeah mm. we can yeah it's hard to get that and and the wide range of things that we do yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, we really need someone at the helm. And a talent I engineer. Didn't, I didn't expect that. It's great that we have a couple of people now that are on board with us that we can really trust. We trust their yes. their opinions and and their ear. And yes, so we've we've good. learned that we need the right team assembled, and we're really really blessed to have Kara Stone and Jay Cutler yep. coming Indeed. with us, and Yay. some a talented sound engineer, a good good manager and technical advisor it's it those parts of the team were really they became very very important very very quickly yeah <laughs> yep. okay so. question three three um dan b dan b hmm. <laughs> tell me about your funniest or scariest moments on stage <laughs> Well, maybe they're the same, but would you mind sharing some of those with us? I have a good one. Okay. Very, very it. first show we did, actually, when we were a group, that, uh, an official group, was in St. Louis, and we wanted to, it was St. Louis 250th birthday for the yeah. city, yeah. and of course, we wanted to sing a little bit of um, 
<laughs> well, we did the Stan Musial part. Out to the Take me out to the ball. Park. Game. Game. <laughs> See? Game. Game. <laughs> Therein lies the problem, right there. And so then yes, you add choreography to that. No, you did not it. sing Take Me Out to the Ball Park in no. front of a St. Louis Cardinal audience. <laughs> 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 And then, but know. but halfway through that show, he was doing a Chuck Berry piece, and I was working with, I didn't have an, a, an electric guitar, I was working with an acoustic, and it was just the one piece. So I decided to play the, da -na 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 you know, the right. Chuck Berry. Well, about halfway through the first section, I winged my guitar pick right through the sound hole into the body of the That's guitar. That's right, I, I remember that. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we got to the instrumental, and Jed's just going, and I'm like, mm. you can, he looks over me like, are you going to play? I'm like, all I have is my thumbnail, uh, and I'm in pain. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of unrecoverable, yeah, scary, and some people fun. thought it was funny. I was kind of upset. But, oh. Everything is recoverable, though. I mean, that's the thing I'm amazed about true. us. We, yeah, we, we have get through that. it, and we actually turn things around and yeah. actually have fun with them. Yeah, that turned out to be a really fun moment when, at the end, I knew that some people had known something, so I just picked up my guitar and shook it and went, yep, that's my pick. Yeah. <laughs> I am not a percussionist. Right. That yeah. is a pick inside my but guitar. But people love that. They love to see they the real fun. thing. They love to see stuff like that happen. It's, it's how you deal with it. That yeah. Makes I'm it chewing it. my eyes on camera. Uh, <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> Let's go to another question. Okay. Um, Annette Q says, you all come from... Yeah, you all come from different entertainment backgrounds. That's true. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, when did you first feel that Avenue B was really coming together as a group, as opposed to just three individuals performing different songs together on stage? Hmm. Well, I think we already answered that. Yeah. When we talked about Sun Valley, I think that's we did. When it happened. Well, plus. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Leslie, because uh, well, we're all writing, we're all putting our hands in it, arranging. But Leslie is, you're always, you're always writing, and you. Yeah. I've said before, you know, leave me out. I just want to play. You have no, you have, you won't hear of it. You know? No. So from the get go, no. we're all included in this. And you we know, each can, have a voice. And can I just say on that, I was, I was just having a conversation earlier with some, some musicians, at an event, and we were talking about that, and I said, you know, it's kind of, it's hard to explain, but when you have the people that you're working with, because we were talking about Avenue B, and they're saying, you know, what are you doing, and. I said, it's kind of like having a sports car. For me, as a writer, when I'm writing with your two voices and your two gifts in mind, it's like I have a Lamborghini to drive. It's really, <laughs> really fun to know that I that any that what you can do collaboratively on the arranging, mm -hmm. what you bring to the table, and what I can ask of with the harmonies, <laughs> the ranges, the vocal ranges, the way, yeah, sorry. Gee, yeah, I wonder what you mean by that. <laughs> Mm. But it's just, it's amazing to have two partners to to collaborate with on original material. Yeah, yeah. A luxury. But that means that every piece that we do, every original piece that we do has our own unique stamp on it, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. You're ready, Next, uh, yeah. where are we here? So, right. Melody T. Hmm. She asks... Do you have a favorite song that is being included on the album uh, that this Indiegogo campaign is helping to support? Oh, wow. That's another... All of the new pieces are wow, favorite that's songs. Yeah, they're all favorite. I mean, I, I think... I don't think I have one. That's a hard question to answer. It because is. there's... Yeah, every time I think about one... I think it, yeah, that that's hard to answer. Um, I mean, hard you you you, you did mention yeah. this once in a I think in one of our uh, earlier updates where uh, when we sing Ocean, for example, oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we that's one of the pieces we started way back when, and we mm -hmm. really did. That's the first time that we sort of learned the piece by osmosis. We didn't have sheet music mm -hmm. in front of us. No. We didn't learn it mm -hmm. the way we traditionally learn classical music. We learned it by listening to the inflections of each other's voice and listening to the inflections of the original artists, and mm -hmm. we kind of found our own, yeah, our, our own, own unique, stamp on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and yeah. now that's forever. Even though I may not practice that piece, but I find that whenever we sing it, it just locks right back in. Yeah. There's something about the muscle memory of that uh -huh. of that song. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah, I love cool. that one too. Right. Milo M. <laughs> that's a cute name. 
<laughs> what is it that you most enjoy about working with the other members of the group? I think I have my, might go with that one. Okay, right? good. Like, Love to hear it. <laughs> my sports car harmonies right here. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it's, for me, it's um, the broad range of things that we can do together. And, and then when we get when we get going and get um, arranging together, when we figure out how things work together, yeah, it can be magical. Absolutely yeah. magical. Really good. It's a creative process unlike anything I've ever had in my in my musical career. It gets me out of my head and into another space. Even though I complain so much about <laughs> singing high notes. And really, I mean, to be a singer, you have to be in good health. You have to be mindful of your sleep <laughs> of course what time is it now oh yeah well yeah there is but i look like it's the morning <laughs> you certainly do no i mean no, no, no. <laughs> Wait. No, am i okay. supposed to take that <laughs> let's go on Make up. <laughs> next one okay. what oh i'll take this one what drives you nuts during rehearsal um dominic, why do we skip it dominic r has asked this being told I look like I, I have morning face. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what I usually do. Um, I don't know. What drives me nuts during rehearsal? When when we were first working on, say back to Passion, when we were trying to work through the harmonies and stuff, remember how long we worked on that one section? <laughs> and then we were sitting at the piano, oh all gosh. of a sudden it just locked in and it was so simple. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. how could that have have, we, here we all three are, well, not complete imbeciles. And, How could we have spent I, that long? Yeah, right, yeah. right. <laughs> and I have to say, you two collaborated together more yeah. than more than I've collaborated. Yeah. 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 So sometimes you guys will get off and you're speaking your own language. I know. I have the right. foggiest idea what's right. going on. <laughs> right. So I just sit there and wait. But there were those times <laughs> also when we were we were working for hours and hours, and then all of a sudden you come in, and then it suddenly clicks. That's true. Yeah, it's so. like, well, what have we been doing? <laughs> We've been in our, own little, in our own little vortex of <laughs> maybe it appears that we know what we're talking about, but we don't right. know what's going on either. <laughs> oh. yeah. Question nine. I'll read it. Okay, question nine. Oh, no, no eight. eight. Sorry. Question eight. From, what is that? Darla T? Darla. Mm -hmm. yeah, Darla, Darla T. Darla. I think so. Are there any moments during the rehearsals that you particularly remember? As being an aha moment, times that made you laugh or made you cry. That takes me back to ocean again. Mm -hmm. Sitting in the car, and all of a sudden we figured out kind of the sound that we didn't quite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The three ways harmonies locked in. Three harmony, yeah. And for me, it would it would be that moment when we were working passion because passion was the first original number that we did from start to finish and True. we really that was a full-on collaboration yeah and it was a, it was even though sometimes it was frustrating and we got caught or, or you know it took so it was an aha moment number number one for me how long a song could possibly <laughs> take but it was also an, you know there were several aha moments during that time about the way we could work together Mm -hmm. To take something that comes in as a skeletal original piece and just make it into something. Yeah, because yeah, we all had a piece of that. Yes, one. yes, yeah. we all worked collaboratively together, and I think it was really then that I, I got so excited about bringing more stuff to the table. Right, right, and you so, did as well. So, you did. I think every <laughs> single time you would drive from Idaho to Utah, you had another piece composed in your head. Yeah, on the way yeah. on the drive. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's the time-consuming element, conveying all of the right, those ideas to, to us. Mm -hmm. you know? And then finding and, uh, out the way it works. Yeah. Right. And then there's, there, there's, well, let's see. Well, I recorded it. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I know. Well, on I your phone. Like... Yeah. Wait, <laughs> not that. Oh, that's not it. Wait, that's not it. Oh, I should probably label these. That's <laughs> driving all I can do is push the button because of course I so I can't so I get there and I'll have like 50 clips of sections of the and I do I do it yeah. all the time I'll be out on a run and something will come into my head and I I, I stop for a minute so I've got all of these um, should I say this on the video I've got all these little clips of motifs or little song patterns or rhythmic patterns sometimes it's lyrics all these things that come and I'll be so I'll be like 
<laughs> singing into my, but a lot of stuff comes to me when I'm running, and so yeah. and I don't oh, want to forget awesome. it. Yeah. And sometimes it's just right. horrible, and other times it's it, it's the seed for for something else. A song, yeah, but yeah, yeah I don't awesome. label anything. So it's you should save it all because it probably could, you know, be the the seeds for maybe for more. Oh, maybe I should yeah. save it and show it to you guys, and you go. Oh, okay. That I can make now. That I that, understand. Even I like <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, What's oh, our last one? Last one. Hmm. Is there? Oh, this is this isn't labeled. Where's the? I don't oh, know who it's from. We don't know who it's from. Okay. Mystery okay. question mm-hmm. number nine. Mm-hmm. You know who you are. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to add about this? How this journey has affected your life? Oh, that's a good. That's a nice question. Or why you have chosen to pursue this path at this stage in your career? Questions wow. I also asked myself. Mm. It, it's interesting, isn't it? Well, we I'll let can... you guys take that. Oh, no, no, no. Well, it's, okay. again, it's all about creativity. And I think as you reach a certain stage in your maturity, you, you want to find a way to be fresh, to be relevant, uh, to find your own voice, too, to put your own stamp. I've, I've worked so many years... I'm a collaborative musician, yes. so I work with other people, and I love that, and I and I certainly don't apologize for it in that, you know, in the sense that I'm an accompanist or something like that. But quite often, other people that I work with, they're the boss. This mm-hmm. way, I get to really have my own, my own say in things too, and and you know, and uh, and and change the course of how a piece might turn out, actually, which is really great. I, I love that. Change the course of how a piece may turn out. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Well, f- for me, it's um, it's brought music back more into the center of my life. Because I've been... I never haven't... I'm, I haven't... St- I never stopped considering myself a, as a musician, first and foremost. Yeah. But I had day job after day job, and... And so I'd have to fit it in, and I'm still having to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm having to fit it in, but I'm thinking about it more. And it's brought me back to wanting to teach more and wanting to practice more and wanting to think more about it. And, and it's not just, oh, my gosh, I have this symphony gig. I better learn this music. Or right. 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 Although oh, sometimes there is that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, I have this Avenue B concert. I better practice. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but still, it's it's more present day to day. Yeah, for me, yeah, which is really cool. Yeah, and I needed that. And it's amazing and to be what you what you give you to music, it gives back. Yeah, to all of us. Yeah. You know? And to do it with you too is the real blessing. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's sweet. And you know, I I look at it and I I think how this is what right. strikes me about <laughs> the process. How many people actually? I mean, are it's a unique. It's a unique thing we're doing because we we were children together, then we all proliferated out into these different careers and have lived spread out across the globe from time to time and and now we ended up all kind of in the same area of the United States in the same time and all kind of in transitional phases in our lives. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you think about the just the sheer propinquity of that, just the sheer amazing timing that that we all had the energy and we're at the time of our life when we could could dovetail and come together on a yeah. project like this. Yeah. I think that just doesn't come along every day. Right. Well, yeah. 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 Because we all seem to come together at the right at the right time. Yeah. Yeah. And we all needed it. Yeah. yeah. The That's timing true. was just And was just there's right. there's no uh, there's no substitute for the for the history that we've all had together as family and friends. Yeah. Yes. No, you can't no, no, no. You know, we can start new friendships, of course, and new relationships, but it will never, we, this, what we have is solid gold, and, and you just, mm-hmm. you know. And it's such, it's just such a pleasure to work in an environment where you have, where you're, you're collaboratively creating, you have some control over your creative process, and you're doing it with people that have known you since you were a child. It's mm-hmm. it's like you can tap into the energy of who you were as a child. Yeah, yeah. And Which is that a sense of magic with and possibility. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I just Yeah. I think it's it's an it's amazing, a, amazing thing. It's a warm and fuzzy feeling. <laughs> well yeah. some good questions. Okay.
Yeah. Great question. Really Thank questions. you. Thanks for the questions. I know and, more about uh, having a bee now. Me too. <laughs> yeah. And That's more about true. myself, actually. Yeah, me too. It's all about you, Jeff. Let's get, let's get, and now let's get back to Jeff. And now, <laughs> let me summarize. Me. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. get the wrong impression. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, thanks no. again, everybody, for the yes, great questions. Thanks. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed our answers. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. pleasure. Bye. And now, Goodbye. if we had anybody in the in front of the camera, if we had a camera crew right now, the video would be off. Our camera but crew it's is not. sleeping. Alas. <clears throat> Thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <look. laughs>